Hari Lai Adama Adama Jaya Gopi Janavallabha Girivaradhari Yashoda Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yashoda Nandana Raja Janaranjana Gavarati Ravanachari Yamuna Tira Vanakari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Kunja Vihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Radha Madan Mohan Radha Madan Mohan Radha Madan Mohan Radhe Jaya Jagana Jaya Jagana Jaya Vala Deva Jaya Subhadra Jaya Jagana Jaya Vala Deva 
Nittai Gauranga Jaya Nittai Gauranga Nittai Gauranga Jaya Nittai Gauranga Nittai Gauranga Hare Bol Hare Bol Hare Bol Nittai Gauranga Hare Bol Hari Bol Kali Yuga Pavan Hari Nama Sankirtan Ki Srila Prabhupad Ki Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Dantra Shrimad Bhagavatam Ki Omagyanatamirandasya Yananjana Shalakaya Chakshuvan Militam Yenatas my Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitan Namano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadamakyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatan Vidam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parjana Sakitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha Namavam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Ramini Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Vancha Kalpataru Bhyascha Lupasindu Bhyayevacha Pajitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jayamudiraye Nashtaprayeshva Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavatyuttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishthiki Krishna Yavasu Devaya Devaki Nandanayacha Nanda Gopakumaraya Govinda Yunamon Namaha A regular attendance to the Srimad Bhagavatam class daily. All that is troublesome to the heart will be destroyed almost completely. And devotional service unto the Supreme Lord Krishna will be established as an irrevocable fact in the heart of the devotee who hears Srimad Bhagavatam. Please repeat this verse. Yavadartam mupasino Vehe gehe cha panditaha Virakto raktavat tatra Diloke naratam nyasit See here is a translation. While working to earn his livelihood, as much as necessary to maintain body and soul together, one, uh, one who is actually learned should live in human society unattached to family affairs, although externally appearing very much attached. Amazing, no? Please repeat this. While working, 
to earn his livelihood as much as necessary to maintain body and soul together one who is actually learned should live in human society unattached to family affairs although externally appearing very much attached purport by his divine grace lord shri prabhupad ki this is the picture of ideal family life when shri chaitanya mahaprabhu asked ramanand rai about the goal of life ramanand rai described it in different ways according to the recommendations of the revealed scriptures and finally shri ramanand rai explained that one may stay in his own position whether as a brahmana shudra sanyasi or whatever but one must try to inquire about life's goal atato brahma jignasa this is the proper utilization of the human form of life when one misuses the gift of the human form by unnecessarily indulging in the animal propensities of eating sleeping mating and defending and does not try to get out of the clutches of maya which subjects one to repeated birth death old age and disease one is again punished by being forced to descend to the lower species and undergo evolution according to the laws of nature prakrute kremana ani gune karmani sarvashaka being completely under the grip of material nature the living entity must evolve again from the lower species to the higher species until he at last returns to human life and gets the chance to be freed from the material clutches a wise man however learns from the shastras and guru that we living entities are all eternal but are put into troublesome conditions because of associating with different modes under the laws of material nature he therefore concludes that in the human form of life he should not endeavor for unnecessary necessities but should live a very simple life just maintaining body and soul together certainly one requires some means of livelihood and according to one swarna and ashrama this means of livelihood is prescribed in the shastras one should be satisfied with this therefore instead of hankering for more and more money he sincerely devotee of the lord tries to invent some ways to earn his livelihood and when he does so krishna helps him see here therefore instead of hankering for more and more money he sincerely devotee of the lord tries to invent some ways to earn his livelihood and when he does so krishna helps him earning one's livelihood therefore is not a problem the real problem is how to get free from the bondage of birth death old age and old age attaining this freedom not inventing unnecessary necessities is the basic principle of vedic civilization one should be satisfied with whatever means of life comes automatically the modern materialistic civilization is just the opposite of ideal civilization every day the so called leaders of modern society invent something contributing to a cumbersome way of life that implicates people more and more in the cycle of birth old age disease and death so and then one more verse we will take ज्ञातय पितर पुत्र भ्रातर सुहृद अपरे यदिछति चानुमोदेत निर्मम एन इंटेलिजेंट मैन इन ह्यूमन सोसैटी शुड मेक हिस् ओन प्रोग्राम ऑफ एक्टिविटी वेरी सिंपल इफ देर आर सजेशन फ्रॉम हिज फ्रेंड्स चिलड्रन parents brothers or anyone else you should externally agree saying yes 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 that's all right but internally you should be determined not to create a cumbersome life in which the purpose of life will not be fulfilled correct now so in the first purport which i read what was said was we are all eternal souls servant of supreme lord but we have fallen into this world and we have come in the association with three gunas correct no and so in that association we have become trapped in this material body and we are all suffering the goal of human life is to get out of this situation correct na no? and to go back home back to godhead but then right now we are a combination of soul and body correct na no? we are soul but we are residing in a bodily machine just like 
you are in a car so driver requires his his food for prasad but car also requires petrol car also requires water in the radiator car also requires air in the tire car also requires repairing in the garage all those things so therefore he is saying here while living in this world a devotee is very clear about his situation that i am trapped in this bodily machine and uh, uh, it's true that you have to take care of the car but not become infatuated by the car what is infatuated by the car you go in different angles and click the car photo of the car from different angles huh? and then decorate the car paint the car some people become very addicted to uh, pampering the car hmm. so i mean similarly in this body also this body is a car only correct no but how much time people spend in uh, different hair styles hmm. how many type of uh, you know shoes and uh, people uh, go to the saloon and spend so much time huh? nowadays there is a beauty parlor for men also now huh? like women isn't it yeah people are hairstyle conscious mustache conscious beard conscious french beard conscious isn't it people are conscious shoe conscious belt conscious watch conscious cooling glass conscious correct or not except krishna conscious huh? except krishna conscious they are conscious of yeah everything material so that type of life is condemned Yeah. I was in Pune station I saw one fellow you know uh, this fellow looks like a monkey yeah? like that but he is selling a cooling glass and uh, taking a selfie of himself you know you know He's saying like this so actually simply putting a cooling glass doesn't make you great huh? but he is imagining I am looking like some cinema actor huh? he is thinking like that just like one uh, cat was looking into a mirror and inside the mirror he saw a lion huh? so what is he thinking i am like a lion so this is called as dehatma buddhi bodily consciousness huh? so proper is saying here that um, while living in this world uh, often times we become carried away by money making uh, for uh, earning our livelihood after you all become devotees you will see that uh, there will be push and pull from family and friends huh? from uh, family members will want to want you to focus on economic development correct no money making hmm. make more money even more money go to america go to london huh? go all over the world our love our love huh? they will be saying like that and they will introduce you to your uncle or aunt and everybody and they will also pump you huh? our bana kale ka you know they will give you a key like huh? sometimes there is a toy you know when you give key to a toy ting 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 you seen the toy it play beats the drum and after beating sometime when the key is over then like there will be men like this correct na we also jump up and down in this world running here running there making money accumulating one day suddenly what comes death comes and you just remain like that and you that's all hmm? and all the money you accumulated will remain in the bank hmm? you are not going to enjoy that and in this world people push one another inspire one another to make more money more material success and that is a very common thing in this world people do now not only they do even you can feel insecure when you are in, <clears throat> in the midst of many other friends you may think that oh this fellow has got a bigger job he has a bigger money uh, he has gone to uh, germany he has gone to australia he has gone to london uh, he, my cousin brother he has grown so much what about me uh, so people are not looking for money to fill up their belly people are looking for money to show off to people how many of you agree correct right, no yeah so the desire to show off is that you are gone huh? if you have a desire to impress the people of the world this lifetime you forget now that's all you have to be reborn if you are to show off to people but if you want food clothing shelter that can be obtained very easily in this world hmm? you can see like you see elephant in the forest is you know getting tons of grass huh, to eat you know bird doesn't uh, go to any college to earn a degree to you know get this when daily food easily gets similarly you can see brahmacharis and sanyasis for example you know they have put faith in krishna and joined the ashram correct no now are they thinking about tomorrow what what about tomorrow's food or next week now how are they getting now, when i joined in way back in 94 when i became full time devotee i was in thermax company many of them said hey better to save some money and keep it to yourself you know you are joining some spiritual institution we don't know what will happen tomorrow you know we will get food or not take care take care my friends were telling under now i am looking back 30 years later 
far from not getting enough food, I am getting too much food. Hmm? <laughs> People are bombarding with prasad. Hmm? And I have to run away from so many congregations who are asking, Prabhuji, come here, we will cook basmati rice and molten ghee and you know, paratha and huh? with everything they want to feed. And we have to say, no, 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 please. We are running away from food. Food is chasing after us. Correct, no? You know, same manner, you know, what facility we don't have, tell me. Hmm? Even, a, even a boy with IT job in America, his wife cooks only once in a week, many of the boys. Huh? And they keep it in the fridge and they little it every day, they take it and put some microwave heating and they give. We are eating three times a day, very hot prasad, correct or not? So what is what is lacking in our life, tell me? Hmm? Is there anybody you have seen the early in the morning, you get up and you are chanting, dancing in the you know early morning hours? Anybody in the world will do that? So many, so much tension people have <laughs> everywhere. How can a person with tension chant and dance? Huh? Isn't it? So we have given all our attention to Krishna because Krishna can evaporate the tension. Nashta Parayeshu, Badreshu, Nityam Bhagavat Seveya. You study Bhagavatam daily, chant Hare Krishna daily, you can evaporate all your anxieties. Huh? And you can chant, dance, take prasad, you know, uh, and you have your time to study the scriptures and go out and preach. Hmm? Inspire the people in some good activity, add value to the life of people, add character, morals, ethics to the life of people. And most importantly, add the spiritual value to lives of people by which you tell them that the goal of life is to go back to Godhead, not uh, be stuck in this material world. Like if you are going in a train, you can't build a house in a train, correct, no? You know, will you keep uh, bricks and uh, build a wall so that you can stay in the train forever? When the station comes, they will tell you, get out now. Huh? This world is for getting out, not for staying in. Huh? It's a place like a bridge. You know, bridge is meant for crossing, not for staying. You you go like this. Material world is like a bridge for the soul. So, when I know I am not, the, I am not this material body, it's only staying with me for a temporary period of time. So the temporary thing should not be given too much importance. Huh? Permanent thing should be given importance. Correct, no? Hmm. Like, for example, you go to some uh, lodge to stay for a few days, three, four days. Huh? Uh, your company has sent you for some, you know, what do, what do you call it? On duty. Huh? They send you. Uh, what do you call it? On-site. Uh, on? On-site, on yeah. On-site. So they arrange an <coughs> accommodation for you in the lodge and the hotel to food, take food and all. You know that you have come there for a Temporary period. You go there and put your luggage and take a bath and everything, eat your food, do the job, and then you wind up and come back. You are not going to make much arrangement in that place, correct, no? Why you won't make much arrangement? Because after three days you have to pack up. You, know, you are not going to create a permanent facility there, will you? You won't. Huh? Similarly, the material world is like that. You need some food to eat, some clothes to wear, huh? some place to little bit stay. And these things come very easily. Huh? Actually, you, you, you have your fate, which brings these things very, very easily. With, I don't say you should not do any effort. Little effort is enough. In the same series of verses, Prabhupada will talk about eight hours a day if you work. That eight hours work, whatever money you get from that, that is written in your fate. But over and above that, if you are going to work hard, yes, you will make more money, but that will be taken away by doctors, lawyers, uh, chartered accountants, <laughs> they will make sure that you don't get more than what is written in your fed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you will see that. Because if you work more than your number of hours, your body is going to get suffering, for which you have to pay to doctor. Mm-hmm. And if you work more harder and make money, somebody will become envious, they will pull your leg, then lawyer is involved after that. Uh, then uh, chartered account is involved. Because you have to have chartered accountant to help you save from income tax. Huh? You know, Then he will take his charges. So, therefore, eight hours of work, whatever it gives, one can be happy. But the problem is, if any of you sitting here, you say that I will work eight hours and I will make whatever little money, but my focus is not money making, my focus is to go back to Godhead. If you say that, will your relatives and friends and all people, will they keep quiet? My Lord, they are going to make a big, they will create a hell for you. They will nag you, nag you, nag you, pinch you and... And they will want hours and hours to preach to you that you, know, you have to become a really hard-working donkey. Huh? You cannot just work eight hours. They go, unka beta, unka three shift hai. Three shifts is working. Huh? Yeah. Some people have three jobs also nowadays. 
morning one job, then they go to one company in the daytime and evening also one more job. Hmm? There are people like that working. So your relatives will push you. See, your brother, cousin is working like that. Why can't you work? So, here Narada is giving a very simple formula. What he says, two things we learnt in these two verses. Uh, one thing he says, you know, Anumodeta Nirmamaha, he says. Yad vadanti yad ichchanti, Anumodeta Nirmamaha. What is the meaning of this? He says that when your you know, parents, relatives, friends, they catch you and they preach to you, how you can make more money, what you should do. You should nod your head very fastly. You know, like in, in Tamil Nadu, in Tanjore, there is one bull. Huh? You know, very nicely they decorate the bull with uh, even the horn, the, you know, nice clothes they put. And they put the jiljal also in the neck also they put. Huh? And when the solo plays, the mother comes, tan 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 and it will nod the head like this. Huh? It's called Tanjore bull. As he keeps playing, it will nod the head. Like that, you can nod the head like a Tanjore bull, which doesn't mean anything. Correct, no? Why you are nodding the head? Any of you can tell me? To avoid a... When you nod the head and say, wonderful idea, I never knew this. Then they will leave and go away. Because they will think that you have understood their idea. You can even take a notebook and pen and note down also. <laughs> Achha, how to make more money? Just give some ideas. After they go, you tear it and throw it in the dustbin. And you go your way. You have to follow Guru. Huh? Guru will take you back to Godhead. And these guys will make sure you will remain stuck in this world. Once uh, our His Holiness uh, Navangindra Maharaj was telling, you know, all these politicians and false leaders, you know, they are all telling, we are all going to Naraka. And you catch hold of our shirt, we will also make sure we will take you to Naraka. And the devotees of the Lord are telling you, we are going back to Vaikuntha. You come back. So you hold on to them, then you also go back home, back to God. So Maharaj was telling, you decide what you want to do in life. You have, you make, be clear of your goal. You can't keep two legs in two boats. You want to go back to Godhead, that is the main goal. And we don't say you cannot marry, you know, shave up everybody and become Brahmachari. We are not saying that. You know, you can marry also, you can have children. But the goal is not expanding material life. That is not your goal. The goal is spiritual life. Because who are you? Are you spirit or matter? Spirit. Huh? If you are spirit, then what should be the prime goal? Spiritual life, correct, no? For example, if somebody brings a knife and says, either I will tear your shirt or I will stab you, which one will you agree? Huh? Yeah? You will remove the shirt and you tear it as much as you want. Huh? You leave me, correct or not? After that, which is more important? You are in a, your body is important or shirt is important? Same with this uh, body and soul also. The body is a dress over the soul. Huh? That is not as important as the soul. Car is important or driver is important? A driver, is it? Driver is living, car is dead. So, if you understand this principle, that body is simply gradually changing, 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 one day it will drop to the ground and then it will be sent to graveyard for burning. Correct, no? Then why to so much worry about this body, accumulate for the body? In the Bhagavatam, the example is given, money collection in this world is compared to a honey bees collecting honey in the honeycomb. Huh? One day the farmer comes with a torch after 10 years of accumulating money. When he shows the fire torch, all the bees will have to fly away from there. And then he will take away the honeycomb. So much hard work they did in accumulating. Same thing happens to us in this world. If you work hard to accumulate, Either the money leaves you or you leave the money. When do you leave the money? At the time of death. Or before death only, money leaves you. How the money can leave us? Like there was one boy from Pune. He was in Durban. So, uh, in Africa. So, he was sitting near the window and typing in the laptop. Suddenly, in the night, two hands came in to the window. He was shocked. It was having some gloves kind of thing with a gun. One hand was saying like this. Another hand was having. When they looked, who is that? He saw that fellow has put a mask. Only the eyes are visible. Huh? And he's doing like this. So the boy thought, should I give or not? How many of you will give away the laptop? You will give. Only few? Others, what you will do? You will catch the hand or what you will do? Huh? Others, anybody? Those who are not raising hand, what you will do? Huh? What you will do? 
those who don't want to give away the laptop. Is there anything else you can do? He's wearing a thick electrician type of gloves he's wearing. You can't do anything, you can't bite the hand also. Huh? Oh. Wearing a thick gloves he's wearing. Huh? So the boy thought, I will give away the laptop because otherwise if I don't give it, if I try to, you know, get away from that, <laughs> he'll shoot and then he will take it, correct, no? So which is better to lose my life by running away or to give away? So this is an example of how money leaves you. Huh? Here in his case, money left him because his laptop was a costly one. After four or five years of working hard, he purchased it. But now he'll have to, money left him. Or in case nobody stole anything from you, lifelong you saved, at the time of death, you leave the money. Huh? That's what Bhagavatam says. Either you leave it or money leaves it. If anyway it has to be left, then why work so hard? Is it common sense or not? Correct, no? Anyway it is going to leave, either at the time of death or before that. Then why slog only for that? Therefore he says, Bratraha, Suhurdo, Apare, either your brothers or relatives or other people, Vadanti, they will keep on advising you to make more money, Yadu Ichanti, they will tell you that it is yours. So that you can build the house, you can buy it. Some people have four, four houses also. Huh? You've seen that? Yeah. And then they will say, then you can go to America. Then what? Then go to Europe. Huh? Then go all over the world. Expand company everywhere. Huh? Like that they will say, okay, what you should do? Anumodita nirmamaha. Huh? So don't argue with them because if you argue with them, they will take four hours from you. Your time will be lost. And they are going to put a hook around your neck. They are not going to leave you. They will hang and they will trouble you very much. Because you are trying to give them a Krishna conscious perspective and they, the, the, you know a lot of spiritual knowledge and they don't have spiritual knowledge. You are speaking like this, they are speaking like this. Both are making arguments in your own plane. They are thinking they are the body and you know you are the soul. So you are giving all soul arguments and they are giving body arguments. And what will happen because of this? You both will have enmity also, and quarrel will happen, plus time will also be wasted. And the relationship will be spoiled. Not only that, they will go and tell other relatives that this fellow is a fool, is this about you. And they, are, they will make sure another dozen people surround you. And they will all take four, four hours each. Is it worth it? So how many of you would like to be saved from that situation? Yes. For that, you have to nod the head like a tangible bull. Understood? No, just nod the head. Wonderful! Brilliant! Huh? I never knew this idea. Wait a minute, I'll note down. You, know? you should be appreciate them. Then they will think that you have understood. Then they will leave you. No? Then they will think that at least he has noted and uh, has heard it. But then what you should do? You should do what Guru teaches you, what Prabhupada teaches. Because that is the goal of life. Correct, no? So, you can see that sometimes some devotees are millionaires also. That is written in their fate. Correct, no? Just like for example, our Ambarish Prabhu, our Rishikesh Mafatlal. Or Simavals, one or whatever, uh, Srinathji. Mm-hmm. So, if you uh, happen to, like here we had Lalwani, you know, mm-hmm. Rajkumar Lalwani in Hyderabad here. He was a millionaire, he got a lot of money and he made the temple hall with beautiful marble and everything. Mm-hmm. That also, so sometimes likely that some of you are already uh, having a good fate that he may become a millionaire tomorrow, quite possible. I heard in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and all. You know, many boys come from Kurorpati families, I heard. And if they get a B-Tech or M-Tech, accordingly in marriage also is done very opulently and a lot of, you know, they become even more bigger. Is, is it true? Is it correct or not? How, how many of you agree? Correct? Yeah. So money is not a very big problem. Mm-hmm. Then one has enough money and then one can utilize in Krishna's service. But slogging all life for only material goods is a sign of foolishness. Therefore, the donkey example is given. Huh? So, donkey carries Basmati rice on his back, but he doesn't get one mushti to eat also. Huh? But he carries, that's all. Huh? So, and therefore, he says that by nodding the head, you save yourself from those people. This is whose technique? Narada's technique. Narada is only saying here. Huh? See, the Narada is the smartest preacher I've ever seen. Because he can go to the Sabha of Hiranyakashipu, and Hiranyakashipu offers him a seat along with all ministers. <laughs> and Arya is sitting very nicely, Narayan and Narayan, and he is playing in his veena. And he goes to the uh, Sabha of Kamsa also. Kamsa is his friend, Hiranyakashipu is his friend, can you imagine? He can make friendship with practically 
anybody huh? asura is also therefore we say dhira adhira janapriya priya karo you can make friendship not only with devotees with non devotees also because he exactly knows how to deal with people huh? if you know the art of dealing with people you can be saved from so much headache huh? now this is not only with brother and family members and all hmm? there is one more thing we read raktavat tatra the previous verse virakto raktavat tatra the word is used here see yavadartam upasino dehe gehe cha panditah virakto raktavat tatra nruloke naratam nyaset virakta means you are unattached but raktavat means what as if attached not attached as if attached like that you should be here for example uh, once you become krishna conscious you will start showing external signs of detachment hmm? like you are going home your mother mother is saying you know you are having beard or you are growing this thing hey, beta why you didn't shave clean huh? why you are looking like this kya raka hai duniya mein sab maya moh maya sab moh everything is moh maya anyway i am not this body i am spirit soul to speak like that my lord you will get into trouble huh? if you show as if you are detached uh, if you show detachment to parents relatives friends uh, and also parents are asking how much marks you got uh, in your examination he said what is this you know when we die next life you have to start with baba black sheep uh, what is the use of studying and getting marks sab maya if you talk about studies as maya job as maya this world as maya they will they will think that you have gone mad hmm? then they will bring all the relatives to preach to you to make you serious in your studies hmm? to make you serious in your education because they get worried because they will say this are this fellow started saying hari krishna and has become very detached hmm? so they will snatch away your bead bag hmm? they will make sure you have no kantimala no bead bag no dhoti kurta they will make sure that you don't go to these classes and they will want you to detached and uh, Uh, and what you should do see you have to know one thing that they don't have the depth of spiritual knowledge what you have received in last many years correct right, no so therefore you have to be sympathetic to them how you will be sympathetic to them be kind to tell about your material successes to them that's what he is saying uh, for example if you tell them uh, when you go home if you tell them that i got so much good marks in, in my examination i got uh, placed in a very good job i am getting so many of my friends got lesser paying job and i got so i got 4.5 lakh per annum my friends are getting only 2 lakh per annum my parents say wow and they will tell all their friends in their college all got 2 lakh 2.5 lakh my son got 4.5 lakh and so they will be convinced that you have material attachments so they are happy with you that you got a good job you got good marks sometimes you can say that now i have to go to punjab on very big uh, Uh, conference is going to happen and i have to give a presentation in the conference and then you click 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 you may click many photos and give it to parents conference what is conference people come together and take nice food that's all most of the conferences and nobody knows what other fellows are presenting when i publish my papers in final tenement modeling i publish some seven eight papers i published you know my friends came and shook hands and said rather sham you know international magazine has published your man you know your articles very nice i said what did you like it they said it's all full of differential equation we didn't understand anything but we know something good must be there otherwise how they published you know so most uh, rnd scholars everybody knows who's area their own area only they will know their own area other fellows cannot fully comprehend what is being published so simply if you go to a conference and come attend some seminars and then eat food there and come back parents think you are a great soul correct no because when you click photos you know then you can uh, give it to parents and then they will, nowadays everybody want to send in whatsapp to their friends they come at a better conference ja kar aaya it went to a big conference they take it very seriously so for them it's a very serious thing for you many of your college of friends must have attended the conference you are not the only great soul huh? but for them it is a so if you send things like that to them photos tell them that no this is a conference i attended or this is the uh, job i got very good job huh? or if you tell them that i am very healthy nowadays i am getting very good food very healthy and if you say that uh, you, know, you know i am thinking of doing this in future uh, 
After this, I want to get into IIT for my M Tech, or I'm thinking of studying GRE TOEFL and go. I want to go abroad. He will say, "What an intelligent boy, my son is." He thinks in you know, a ten years ahead, so they'll be very very happy. So you have to show that you are attached to your career. You have to show that you are attached to your education. You have to show that you are attached. But because this is very important for whom? Huh? Now, for whom it is very important? This your attachment to these things is important for whom? Huh? They didn't understand. Many of them didn't understand actually. Huh? For the family members, for them it's very important. They want to make sure that you are attached to good score. Good job, good future, career, correct or not? For them, it's very important thing. And if you go and talk in a very detached mood after reading all Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavata, man, say, "Kya rakha is dunya mein?" Yeah. So they will get very worried about you. Therefore, they want to know about your body, and devotees want to know about your soul. Understood, na? No? So when you meet the devotees, you have to talk about the progress of the soul back home, back to. Got it. When you meet your family members and relatives, you should talk about your which progress. How many of you understood this point? Very simple, mm-hmm. very simple thing. And I don't say you don't progress. You try to progress. Like many of you raised the hand, you are students now. So should you try for first rank or not? You should try. You know, although I was a very serious spiritualist even in my college days, even from school days I studied many spiritual books. But when you when it comes to you know college studies i would be very competitive we were only 3 4 of us other than 4 of us nobody got the first four ranks we four only will be rotating sometimes i am first others are second third sometimes i am second or third and others are first and we lived in the same lane and we will make notes and exchange also you know i will give my notes to him he will give his notes to me and we we would not compromise because anything you do in life you do it Perfect. Now I became a sadhu. Now become pakka, pakka sadhu. Don't become a dila dala sadhu. Huh? You are a student. Do it very pakka. Yeah. Similarly, if you are doing business, do a good business, make a good money, and give half to Krishna. Huh? Anything you do in life, do it wholeheartedly. Huh? So if you do it wholeheartedly, then you will also be satisfied, and people around you will be satisfied also. So you should do justice to your studies also. Just used to getting a very good job, also make an effort. And if you made it, many times what happens? One of one of our boys got placed in Microsoft, yeah. and then he's going home, and parents asked, "Peta, last week of placement was there. What happened? Which company got it? How does it matter what job I got? Everything is going to be finished." And the parents asked, "You got or not?" They thought he couldn't get it. Then he said, "Take a year as appointment at Microsoft. I got." Then parents say, "Why didn't you say that happily? Huh? Because they want to see you happy in which life? Material life. Material life. So if they see that you are very cheerful, hmm? like like for example, one parent was telling the boy, 'Better you're coming home. You are not going to gym. Keep your body very nice.' Huh? He said, 'I am not bodily conscious. I am soul conscious. Huh? I I only. So earlier you used to go for playing football. Now you are not going." Huh? Earlier you used to go for karate. What happened? You are not going now. So many parents actually want to see you very dynamic boy and you know doing many great things in material life. So therefore, yeah, they have to see you that materially you are not becoming disinterested. Huh? So if you show disinterest in material life, they are going to dance on your head to make sure that you become you become interested in material life. They want to make you interested in material life. That is the whole plan they have. But if you already show interest in material life, what they will do? What they will do? Uh, they will say, "Very good. This is how I want you to be." That means if you want to save your time uh, uh, from dealing with such relatives and friends and everybody, you should talk about material life to them. How you are materially doing? Uh, but when you meet the devotees, naturally talk about how you are. Spiritually, doing. because devotees are interested to make sure that you advance spiritually, correct? Now, if you tell the devotees that Prabhuji, from four rounds I come to eight rounds now, they will say, "Wow, wonderful, huh? isn't it?" Prabhuji, I have started doing seva in the temple. Wow, even more wonderful. Prabhuji, I want to join full time. Wow, even more wonderful. Huh? Yeah. Prabhuji, I am getting married now to a devotee girl, and we both want to stay next to temple regularly. Come for the Mangal Arati. Wow, that's also very wonderful, isn't it? So devotees are very happy if you tell them about how you are advancing in. 
spiritual life. That doesn't mean devotees don't care about their material body. Hmm? Otherwise, why they have arranged a cook for you, accommodation for you, isn't it? They are also concerned about their material body, but they know very well that material body is not everything. Correct, no? Spirit, soul is very important and that should not be neglected. But many relatives, friends, parents, they don't know about spirit, soul or the spiritual life. They are interested in material life. Therefore, virakto raktavat tatra. Raktavat means as if you are attached to him. For example, a man should show his wife that I am interested in you. See, I have brought a earring for you. I have brought a nose ring for you. Huh? You know, because everybody in this world thinks about whom? Generally. Oneself. Oneself. They think about themselves only. Like when I would go home in my college days, I used to go only once in a semester to home for about a week or so. So for my sisters, I will get them earrings and bangles and all I will carry, you know. And for my mother, I will get her a sari or something like that. And for the smaller children, I will get mitai and other things, right now. So different things I will get. Hmm. So my father, I will get some special book, uh, something of his interest. So when I would go home, when I open my bag, everybody will surround me. They know that I always bring something, you know. <laughs> the sisters, I can see I got earring for you, I got nose ring for you, I got bangles for you, I got pile for you. Huh? Different things I'll give them. And they'll be so happy. Wow, wow, they'll wear and see. Very nice. How do I look like? They'll be very happy. Huh? And the kids will come running. You know, they'll be opening the bag. And then you take out Mitai and give. They are also very happy. Your father will give him a book. Mother will give her a special silk sari from Kanchipuram or something you give her. Uh, who is happy? Everyone is happy. They feel that, oh, this fellow has some feeling for the family. Correct, no? Then only they'll be satisfied. Now, later on, I got a job in, I mean, and joined Pune and then left everything and I joined. My sisters were crying and everything. One of my sisters told me that this lifetime you stay with us, next life you can join full time. Yeah. I told that sister, see that same thing my sister in previous life told me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That is why I had to be born again now. So they were all very attached to me as a brother. I was like, a, next to my father, they saw me like a father. Correct, no? So, when I joined, they were, they were very affectionate, at the same time they were very upset also with me. Hmm. But then later on, when uh, uh, my sister's son and daughter and all grew up, I was paying attention to them also, hmm. guiding them on uh, how to study. And then uh, one, of, one of my sister's uh, daughter, she completed her education and I connected her to one of the congregation devotees in Pune. Hmm. And then they arranged for an interview for her and she got placed in a good job. My father at that time told me, although this fellow is a sadhu baba, he does not ignore the family. Just see, he has kept an eye in the family. And because she was a very, very intelligent girl. She was a topper in her college and everything. But why I connected her to one congregation devotee? Because I, in the native place when she, where she was there, she was having a circle of Christian friends. And she was arguing many things about you know, things related to Hinduism and Christianity versus Christianity. And I connected her to Pune congregation. Immediately, they gave her an interview opportunity. She got placed in one of the nice company. And after that, I put her in touch with one Mataji, who guided her like an elder sister. And now this girl became initiated now. She became initiated devotee now. All the whole family, all three sisters are all initiated now. So my father, when he was in the bed, he was telling that, uh, you know, uh, I personally was very happy when he became sadhu, but others were not happy. Some of the, like my father was selling, but even now they are all very happy because you keep an eye on the family. So because Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also, you know, Sachimata, you know, when she came to Shantipur, Mahaprabhu went and met, how lovingly he dealt with her. So I am not telling you to do a drama. Uh, we actually have to, on one hand, uh, feel some connection to them and do something good for them, but at the same time not compromise in our spiritual life. You understand? Huh? We cannot compromise on our spiritual life. So, like right, right now my sisters are all going to Tirupati, so they immediately call me, can you make some arrangement? Immediately arrange for special VIP darshan uh, and then accommodation in the temple and everything. So, if any call or mail comes from them, I will quickly respond like lightning response. Huh? So, then they feel that, oh, he doesn't ignore the family, correct, no? But if we ignore the family, then they will say that this movement has spoiled my, our uh, beta, you know, just see he has no care for the family, they will say. So, and also, <clears throat> they call sometimes. One mother told me, my son never talks to me. 
Then I called the Brahmachari boy and said, hey, you don't talk to your parents? Prabhuji, every week three calls, Prabhuji, I, I talk to them. I was surprised. He says three times he talks and mother is saying he doesn't call at all. Then I understood that mother is, mother is calling him and he talks. But she is not happy with that. What she wants? He should call me. He, she said in the last one year, even one call he didn't make, she was telling. But she has talked every week three times. That she is not counting because... And she has to chase him and then talk. Chase him, chase him, chase him. At last he comes in the call and then she will catch him. So, therefore, this fellow, I told him, you are a fool. You don't know how to be affectionate. If you show some affection to them, then they won't chase after you so much. I said. So, that's what he is saying here. Virakto, raktava tatra means you may be virakta where? Inside your heart. But outside you have to be raktava. That show their affection. Uh, if, you should, if you don't exhibit that affection, then the relatives, friends and everybody will harass you too much. Uh, they will say that you are, you are not caring. Sometimes people say that in those days you are like this and now you have become like this, they will say. Correct, no? Because you are neglecting or ignoring. Mm -hmm. So, now uh, this is about the family and friends. Now let us say you go to the office. Uh, and the office uh, colleagues, you will see that, you know, they are all into materialistic lifestyle and we don't like it. Uh, you know, many of them are into drinking and smoking and things like that. Mm. You don't like it. And uh, your morose behavior comes out when you deal with them. So then, imagine you are working in a project uh, team. Five, six of you are working. Mm. So, when you work together with them, if you show a bru 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 like that behavior, then they say you are very unfriendly. Mm. So here is where we have to learn the principle of non-interference principle. Non-interference means you allow others to be what they are. Mm -hmm. And you be what? You are. I am a devotee. In America, you, know, you will learn it all the more. Huh? Like I am going with this Tilak, you know, Kantimala, this dress. If American meets me, you know, many of the Americans actually uh, are very uh, affectionate. I mean, very well behaved in their dealings. For example, you say, uh, oh, Radhesham, Radhesham ji, please tell me, how do I express my salutations to you? Is it like this? I should fold the arm and say, Namaste. I would tell them, no, this is correct, not Namaste. Say, Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. I tell them. They say, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Many of the Americans will do that if you teach them. Which means they may practice Christianity, but they don't actually mind you practicing. You are practicing another thing. You practice and you wear this tilak and everything. You have a different type of attire, different type of look. But they respect it. Huh? Similarly, if they are able to respect us, then we also should respect, respect them. them. Huh? They may have different type of attire, different type of speed, you know, different type of systems and everything. So our friends also, when you look at them, we should look at them compassionately in the office because they didn't get Krishna consciousness what you got. Correct? No? If they got like what you got, they will be also devotee like you. Correct or not? Somehow they missed the opportunity till now. Therefore, they look like materialistic. Their mind is absorbed in, in the materialistic vibrations. So, you should think, how can I be of help to them? Huh? Maybe you can give them a book. More easier than the book is the prasad first. Huh? You take some nice sweet and give them, they will be very grateful. Actually, if you give sweet in their hand and you go away, now they don't see you anymore. But when they eat the sweet, they think you are a sweet person. Correct, no? This is the nature of the mind. Mind psychology is like that. Such a sweet person. Why is a sweet person? Because he gave me sweet. And therefore he is a sweet person. Correct, no? So this is the easiest way to win the heart of anybody. No? Anybody. It's very easy. Give them a nice sweet. And we have Govindas available. We can carry some days. No? Like uh, special days. Diwali or New Year or something like that. If you, if you go and give them, they will be so grateful. No? So as devotee, it's very easy for you to win their heart by giving... Uh, some sweet prasad or some of them also are even more pious you know you have this Vrindavan Melrose correct no video you can give them and you know, put it in their mobile and they will hear it they'll say wow this Ketan is very nice it's very enjoyable huh? so you know, uh, next to prasad they enjoy which one yes. Kirtans music music and if they like these two things then you can give them a book give them SSR or coming back or something like that or a pocket book or something like that hmm? slowly slowly you can uh, try to bring them to Krishna consciousness and also while, while dealing with others, the most important aspect of respect is, uh, respect means appreciate everyone's unique, uniqueness and individuality. Uh, 
everyone is an individual mm-hmm. you will see that a monkey cannot uh, swim and a fish cannot climb a tree huh? and therefore einstein made one statement that if in a school they expect the monkeys to swim and fishes to climb the tree it's a fool's paradise huh? it's a foolish school he said because everybody's talents are different and they are unique hmm? so everybody so therefore your friends uh, you know they may have different tastes and you have a different taste so you have a spiritual taste and they have a material taste but you have to work together in the same project so what to do so you have to see what are the things that are common to me and him you should see and focus only on commonality don't focus on the differences huh? focus only on what what is common you both are in the same company what else is common we are in the same project huh? and what else is common you both want to bring success to that project uh, organization and then then you both are going to get incentives uh, you are going to give give it's whatever and what is the advantage in cooperating with him then your boss will be happy correct now and what the advantage in cooperating with him he will also cooperate with me correct now and uh, your connection with him is only the company otherwise when you come back you have your private life he has his private life so don't interfere in his private life and he will not interfere in you are private life so all other private part will like, just like if you have two circles intersection huh? intersection is a small portion rest of the circle is independent correct no so the, in the intersecting portion you have to be cooperative with him and that is only the office period you see him in the morning hi good morning huh? how is everything huh? you know he is asking you are asking him come together and properly explain things to him don't deal with him in an inimical way be in a friendly uh, mood with him because he ultimately he is also a living entity part and parcel of krishna correct no but the living beings covered over with some impure vibrations because of no good association so in this way when you learn the art of dealing with people uh, uh, how to communicate with people how to deal with people you association doesn't mean uh, i am sitting next to him so i'm associating no association means opening your heart with affection that is called association Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, "Don't open your heart with love to non-devotees and atheists and such kinds of people, huh? because if you open you open your heart, that is, you are opening your vulnerable portion to people, <clears throat> and that too you show affection, you are willing to put faith in them, huh? and that is what should not be done with non-devotees. Huh? You have to be business-like or official. Official means, hi, good morning. Huh? You know, I heard that yesterday you completed the." Uh, work congratulations huh? bye bye and then you go your way he goes his way you talk officially but on the other hand imagine there's a devotee in the company you both are taking lunch you may say prabhu ji i am getting too much sleep in the morning huh? my japa was horrible today huh? what about you he says prabhu ji i had a good japa today he says so ami bada dukhi tumi bada sukhi huh? you are very happy i am suffering please tell me what's your idea then he may tell you Uh, what time you slept prabhu yesterday you may say i slept at 11 then you he may say prabhu ji try to sleep early because you are opening your heart and taking help from the devotee from devotees you can do that huh? if you go open your heart to your karma fellow in the office uh, i am feeling very tired what i should do he will say don't get up in the morning huh? he will say no i get up at 8 o'clock only huh? he will say you also get up at 8 o'clock he will tell you yeah on the other hand if you catch a devotee and ask devotee will say sleep early you will say sleep early it takes 6 or 7 hours rest no problem ha uh, 8:30 baje 9 baje so jao jaldi take take early rest so open your heart only to devotees affection and opening heart is only to devotees other uh, karma is you can be business like because why you have to be business like if you for example he is bringing something from home and giving you food uh, you have to say you know see i am following some uh, you know i am following a religious organization ha uh, and we have the restrictions we we cannot take onion garlic you know we we have to cook and offer it to krishna only then take it i have some stringent rules which we follow but i accept your love thank you very kind of you thank you so you may say that because when you give prasad to him he may also want to give something back you may say that hmm. then he may ask you that means you will never eat from my this thing you say no who said that you come to 16 rounds four eggs huh then uh, some day when you will th- definitely come and they have given you books to read if you come to the standard then we can take from your hand also huh? like that you can say in case they ask you to eat correct no uh, it's not that we are uh, we don't we don't want we don't care you are a shudra or a chandala or anybody 
anybody can give us food we will take provided they are vaishnava this is the standard so in this way you have to be um, formal in your dealing with them but with devotees mm, we can be more friendly and more loving and things like that so let us take some questions very good questions have come give the mic to vishnu prasad reader give the mic to him. the questions which are already answered should i read or uh, no you can read the question and then uh, you can say it's answered you can say how to deal with non devotees in office school in such a way that you don't feel uh, left out uh there. so in the last part requires answering uh, you don't feel left out so in order to avoid being left out you have to make up your mind that in my office or in my college i have to make some devotees ha uh, you have to make up your mind for that say for example you're going to your class in the college in your entire class at least 20% will be pious how many of you agree at least 20% correct na so you should target the pious people and try to make them devotees you give them prasad give them you know kirtan give them prapad books uh, in my college days also i had two very good boys coming from good families so i posted them on either side of me you know i was in the middle bench and then they were sitting on either side and they will always speak pure things <laughs> my ears will be hearing very very nice things but imagine unfortunately some bad fellow is sitting on one of the side then you have to hear, hear bad things correct no so in office also you make friendship with some people you know the friendship is some people are pious people and you will always have good association begin with two people once they are devotees get two more two more like that keep two two people keep on making them devotees huh? so in this way a day will come when you will have a group of people with whom you can take lunch and yeah, and they can also join your rtc center or they can join yoga huh? then they will become devotees that's the uh, easiest way to not feel alone next how to overcome overcome overthinking ah or how to get good memory yeah so you know to avoid overthinking generally happens when you are having some worry in the background so you lost a job now you have to search for a new job for example then you get overthinking you wonder that what if i don't get for 6 months or one year or two years parents will call me back to native place and if i don't get job at all relatives will ridicule me huh? what will happen so in this the mind worries huh? or i may get a job which is not paying so well huh? you know it is lesser paying lesser than the previous job then should i take it or not should i wait for another job huh? so and also my parents are saying that beta if you don't have a job nobody will give you a girl in marriage huh? what will happen will i remain married will i remain unmarried for 35 40 50 years i can't join full time also i'm afraid of brahmacharya ashram also huh? i am like nagar ka nagar ka i can't marry also i can't join also huh? you know will my senior solo me to continue like this so many worries correct na no? all these worries can go on in the mind overthinking therefore what one should do uh, number 1 never be alone never be that should always be somebody around you and secondly never be unengaged or under engaged if you are unengaged then you give mind opportunity for th- thinking if you are under engaged again you give mind opportunity for thinking too much because if you are under engaged balance uh, time mind will engage you huh? idle man's mind is a devil's workshop and the devil's workshop is making overthinking hmm? unnecessary too much worry about things correct no and also when you are overthinking about something you are indecisive like arjuna was overthinking in the beginning of the first chapter we see that five reasons he brought up and everything then what did he do in second chapter huh he said surrendered submitted himself to krishna 2.7 shishyaste aham sadhi maam tam so go to your senior devotee and say prabhu ji i am overthinking about this you tell me what i should think what's the right way of thinking and they will to help you solve the problem correct no yeah next can we chant the holy name by listening to kirtans or proper chanting voice no chanting is a very serious business it's it's a hard work it is chanting is not an easy thing actually you should not watch tv you should not hear anything else you have to hear who sound you are on sound like you should hear in chanting you should not hear proper sound proper sound is good in the beginning like you put on proper tape 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे यू हियर फॉर वन आर टू मिनट्स एंड यू स्टॉप इट बिकॉज प्रपज विल गिव यू चार्ज माई लॉर्ड इज स्टार्टिंग सो पॉवरफुली है विथ सो मच इंटेंसिटी सो दैट इंटेंसिटी यू कैन एसोसिएट विद फॉर अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स देन यू स्टॉप इट आफ्टर दैट यू शुड चैंड ऑडिबली एंड यू शुड हियर यूर ओन साउंड सो एंड यू शुड नॉट वॉच टी वी आर हियर एन अदर कीर्तन दैट इज नॉट जपा अट ऑल इट जस्ट चीटिंग Japa actually means you should utter the sound, you should hear the sound attentively. Huh? So for that, uh, two very important distractors you should avoid: eyes and the ears. Huh? Actually, if you close the eyes fully, we go to sleep. Hmm? If you open the eyes fully, you get distracted here and there, seeing different people. Hey, yes, yeah, okay, yes, yeah, okay. You know, you see like that. So therefore, you bring the eye, the black portion of your eyes, you bring it to the tip of the nose. that may cause sometimes a little headache to huh? focus on the nose therefore one eye is closed and another eye is focus here huh? then you can chant with very nicely because the eyeballs are resting now in the corner you try this one eye you close another eye you rest in the tip of the nose see fortunately the nose is a non moving portion huh? of the body huh? you know <laughs> so you won't get distracted huh? so when you see like this with a little lie open and you chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram so you will see that um, our gradually mind gets hooked to the holy name generally when i chant i don't look at anybody at all you sleep or don't go to sleep i don't care because first i have to worry about who's chanting my chanting Janma sarthak kori, then you do parupakari. Is it only we are not sarthak kori only I am done? So why bother about others? Hmm. I think there is no one around me. Hmm. I am only chanting and divine couple Radha and Krishna are hearing. That's all. Nobody. Others I don't care at all. Hmm. Because if you if you get into a commentary mode like cricket, they give commentary. No, abhi ud gaya, ye chal raha hai, ye so gaya, ye andar gaya. पता नहीं आएगा कि नहीं कदर कल कम बैक आर नॉट यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रिंक वाटर हाफ एन आवर पास दी डिंट कम वाई ही कैन गो वाई कैन आई ऑल्सो गो हर माइंड ऑलवेज इज गिविंग रनिंग कमेंट्री करेक्ट नो तुम कैन दर बी गुड चैंटिंग जस्ट फोकस ऑन यूर ओन चैंटिंग टिप ऑफ द नोस एंड एंड चैंट लेट इज स्विफ्टली प्रपज एंड हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे देन माइंड कैन नॉट एस्केप माइंड विल बी फोकस्ड वेरी नाइसली एक्चुअली द रियल टेस्ट विल कम वेन यू आर हियरिंग द साउंड वाइब्रेशन वेन वी डोंट हियर इट विल बी वेरी ट्रबल सम इट इज लाइक क्लाइंबिंग अ माउंटेन If once the hearing starts, even few mantras you hear. If you can't hear many mantras, four or five mantras also you hear. The real taste will start coming in that. Mm-hmm. So we have to chant with attention, attentive hearing of the sound vibration. Three things. You all repeat. Chant audibly. Uh-huh. Pronounce clearly. Uh-huh. Hear attentively. Uh-huh. These three only you have to do. Next. Of course, when you are hearing the philosophy. gradually the philosophy will come in the background of your mind for example you sit to chant uh, like you see the yogi one video i showed what is the first thought that comes in yogi's mind mahavishnu is lying and all the universes are coming from the pores of his body isn't it and then he is seeing the beautiful form of the lord uh, and he is an expansion of krishna only uh, krishna is expansion of expansion isn't it and then in each of the universes lord is entering as what form He enters the universe, and half the universe he fills with water from his own body. What is his name? Garbho Dakshay Vishnu. Huh? Garbho means universe, and then he is lying in Ananta Shesh, huh? and then uh, uh, in his navel, what is coming out? The lotus. Uh, Brahma is born, and then uh, in the top of the universe there is a milk ocean called Shaitadvipa. Hmm? There, Shri Dakshay Vishnu is lying. He is entering into all the hearts of all living beings. is also entering into the atoms also hmm? so what are so one is omni omnipotent omnipresent omniscient hmm? these, these three lords how there is no place the lord is not present he is present everywhere hmm? brahma ji is meditating on 
Uh, he's going to the shores of the milk portion. So, Savada Brakaruno Bhagavan Vibhradha Prema Smita oh. Smitena Nayanam Burhan Vijrumban Uttapya Vishva Vijayaya Tano Vishadam Madhya Gira Panayatad Bhagavad uh, Purana is saying the Supreme Lord is the ancient personality. Most ancient. Huh? But at the same time, he's always very young and youthful looking. And he's asking the Lord, how is it that the waves of the ocean, uh, milk ocean, are making sound? Shh, like that they're making sound. And you're lying so undisturbed. Huh? Generally, like we have this the roads, they're making this near the temple. 12 o'clock, they start, I get up also. <laughs> you know? Uh, they break everything and then they transport it. You can see that with sound we cannot sleep peacefully, correct now? On the other hand, Lord is hearing the sound of the waves, still he is very peaceful. Not only that, he is lying in not a very nice bed like we lie. He is lying in which bed? Ah, Jesh. Snake bed. If one snake, by mistake, you put your foot on a snake, what you will do? You will jump like anything. Huh? And he is lying in the bed. Uh, which bed? Snake bed. And it is not very comfortable. It's like coils are like this. And Lord is very coolly lying in that. Huh? Because Adishesh is this very most intimate associate like our Balaram, huh? Balaram and Lakshman. So Lord is lying in that Adishesh. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, that too is lying in the middle of the ocean. Huh? He may want to sleep in a very peaceful room like a room or something. But Lord is in the middle of the open. The room is not closed. It's an open room. Huh? Open place. And it's lying in a snake bed. Lying in the milk ocean. Making a sound. And the Lord has a beautiful smile on his face and eyes like lotus petals. Huh? And uh, relaxing in yoga nidra. Huh? So Brahma is amazed. So one should meditate on this vision of this form. Huh? All these are expansions of Krishna. Huh? So when one uh, becomes more and more purified in the mind, the visions of the Lord's uh, personality, his qualities, his activities, huh? These things will manifest itself, not by our endeavor to think about them. They manifest on their own. So, but one has to be patient. That is actually a gift of the Lord for one who is chanting with attention. If you don't chant with uh, attention, then uh, we try to become externally attentive on more, so many other distractions. Next. Roji, preach, uh, regarding preaching, many times you have said to me to uh, give message directly. For new boys, how much extent we can preach directly? Because many times I feel that I am pushing them while preaching. How much extent we can dilute? See, if you are thinking that you are pushing them, that means uh, they are not catching what you are saying. Right now. now I am speaking to all of you. How many of you are able to catch what I am speaking? Yeah. This is how we have to preach. Preach means you preach at the level where people can grasp what you are speaking. It's not, there is nothing like... A, Hard and fast rule that, you know, you preach directly or not directly. You preach in a way that you can connect with them. You know the principle of the res- resonance, you know that? Resonance means there are two forks. You vibrate one fork, other fork also forks, and then there's a sound. Sound comes. Because they are vibrating at which frequency? Same frequency. Uh, they both are vibrating at the same frequency, the resonance frequency. That's how the sound also comes. Similarly, you are telling the boy, and the boy is uh, showing some sign of displeasure. As he's looking here and there. You know, looking at the watch like that means the boy is not. Uh, then why should you push? Try to tell something that he can understand. For example, a new boy you meet, you tell something about the mind. The mind is like an elephant. There's a good elephant, there is bad elephant. So you can train your mind to behave like a good elephant. Or the mind, the mind can be like a flood or it can be like a dam. Simple examples. Right now. And then he may wonder, if, if he's asking you, really? Then can you tell me how I can train my mind? Then you give him mala. Tell him, chant Hare Krishna. So they can connect with that. Correct, no? On the other hand, imagine you are telling that, you know, the goal of life is to go back home, back to Godhead, go, go back to Goloka Vrindavan. And you're looking at the watch. You know, I have some work to do. Can I carry on? You know, he's asking. Correct, no? So you have to speak what they can understand. Yeah, just like a newborn baby, you know, you the newborn baby gets uh, breast milk of the mother. 
Now, after some time, he gets a relax or pharynx or something like that, correct? No? Then when he becomes uh, six or seven or whatever, then they give chapati or something, little, little, or some solid foods like a rice or chapati something. Imagine a newborn child roll a chapati and push into mouth. Mm-hmm. A child will be screaming, he doesn't know what is it, he has no teeth only. How can he bite? Isn't it? So according to the level of a person, you have to give. Next one. Philo- Top notch philosophy, highest uh, param- uh, shelter, best parampara. But when things are not smooth, no expected results, unable to figure out. So, what best can be done for successful preaching? Uh, I, I don't know which uh, uh, preaching. Here, I see uh, preaching is a roaring preaching. So many of you have come together here. Huh? And temple also, then you are staying in yoga also. In fact, we have a problem of overflowing crowd now. <laughs> you know, each, each of the brahmacharis have 30, 30, 40, 40 people with them. Huh? And uh, uh, we need more and more people for preaching. Actually, in, in my observation, uh, Iskan Hyderabad, Abid's temple, Radha Manmo temple, youth crowd is an enormous crowd it is. In a very short time, it has picked up. Huh? It, it didn't take too many years. Brahmacharis came recently and uh, you can see the way evenings, how many youths are coming in the temple. Both the general youths are also increasing and those who are becoming devotees like all of you, that is also increasing and they are becoming more and more committed. Uh, there are places like IITs, NIT sometimes, you know, you are preaching for two years and you got two people. Your situation is not like that. And uh, Prabhupada was preaching in the 1965, one full year, it was almost impossible to get anybody. So sometimes uh, you may be preaching sincerely and uh, people may not come. Uh, and Krishna tests you and makes you more humble, right now. But uh, the way pre- preaching is happening here, I don't think there is any dearth of people. Next. In case you feel that, you know, you in your preaching you are having some ten boys and one by one they all went away, nobody became fixed up. Huh? In case you feel like that, individually speaking, then you may have to modify your style of preaching. Maybe there is some mistake. What I would suggest to you, you can meet your other mentors and talk to them. Hey, how do you preach to your boys? Let me watch how you talk to them. You can talk to Vishprasadku also. So, if boys are going away from us, they are not liking, then maybe the way we are speaking may not be suitable. We have to modify that. Yeah, in, the, in this one. As you mentioned in the morning Japa talk, both seva and sadhana are important for spiritual progress. I enjoy or like doing seva. Sometimes I worry that if I make, commit mistakes or some aparad, I also notice that while doing seva, I am generally in mode of I find myself in mode of passion. So, actually, seva is much much more easy than chanting japa. Huh? Many there are even new people who want seva. <clears throat> like one time in Ratyatra, we got some young boys. You know what do you call them? One group came, no? Uh, volunteers. Volunteers. Sometimes even 150, 200 boys, girls are ready to, they all come with some uniform. Correct, no? They belong to NSS or some organization like that. And uh, they are ready to work very hard. You tell them to put the chairs, they will put, uh, arrange the stage, they will arrange, clean this, clean that, because they, their hands are itching for activity. Uh, they will do it. That means even very, very new people also are ready to do seva. But tell them to sit down and chant one round. My Lord, they will say, this is too much. <laughs> you know? Chanting is difficult. So, therefore, we tell them, okay, first you do service, get a little purified and then sit down and chant. chant. Then do a little more service, get a little more purified, then you'll chant more. Um, finally, we should arrive at a situation where there's a good balance. Huh? Once you complete 16 rounds and then once you do save also like that, you have to balance. Uh, in one of the class, you mentioned about leaving bod- uh, boys and dead boys while preaching. Sometimes yeah. boys become very interested in beginning, but at end, due to bad association, they uh, put off. Yeah. And sometimes they become weak. So, how we can actually keep uh, such boys inspired? Yeah. So, <clears throat> the boys who are upcoming devotees, they have a tendency to have one leg in uh, bad association and one leg in good association. So, whichever connection for them is stronger, they go in that direction. Huh? Like Karna, you know, he felt more connection with Duryodhana and then he got destroyed. Yeah. On the other hand, Vibhishan, he felt more connection with Lord Rama, so he got saved. Correct now? So, you, you will see that, you know, the boy whom you are cultivating, if they went away, what can we do? We try our best to protect them, save them. 
and um, beyond that some people go it's very painful for us we can only pray for them yeah but we should try our best to give them a higher taste by connecting them to various devotees and various activities be very attentive to uh, supply them the spiritual inputs time to time hmm? but some will go away like you know this story of this monkey who made friendship with a crocodile correct no but what is the problem with the crocodile making friendship with crocodile <coughs> crocodile was a creature of water monkey was a creature of uh, land yeah so the tree in which the monkey was living that is like your center huh? like this center huh? and then outside boys karmi boys they are like cro- crocodiles correct no so crocodile asked the monkey one day my dear friend you know uh, how is life for you huh? he said i am in this jamun tree my parents have told me never to leave this place uh, you know i have to be here only what about you he asked crocodile said oh i can swim in the lake i see the blue sky i see the beautiful mountains and greenery everything i have a lot of freedom he said but monkey said i don't have freedom similarly our boys also sometimes think oh i am in this rtc center or i am in this temple i wear dhoti kurta i chant and dance and the my seniors say don't do this don't do that many time we are guarded uh, and how about you then your karmi friends me say oh, hum to imandas kuch bhi kar sakte hain kuch bhi kahenge kuch bhi piyenge kahin bhi jayenge we can do anything like that they say then you think they are more happy than me we think like that that's why the monkey agreed to go with crocodile but once he went in the lake then he realized it was a big blunder i did you know in the middle of the lake he was seeing that the crocodile's body is very thin like a paper all around water he said to crocodile i am little afraid you know can we go back to the similarly you are a devotee devotee cannot be a materialist huh? you know, initially material life is attractive for you but when you go too much in material life you feel uneasiness there also correct na so then he told him take me back and then crocodile said sorry my wife told me to uh, bring you a kaleja huh? so that she can cook <laughs> uh, for lunch because crocodile's uh, wife crocodile ani you know she said hey last four days i didn't see you i think you are having another ana uh, another uh, crocodile uh, you have and this fellow said no no god promised i have friendship only with the monkey he said really where does that monkey live he said he lives in a jamun tree then the crocodile and he said that this monkey was uh, the kaleja must be very sweet tasty because he is eating jamun so bring his kaleja today then i trust that you know your friendship is with the monkey and this fellow was innocent fellow <laughs> the husband crocodile he told everything frankly to monkey and the monkey started trembling my lord they are going to take me and cut my heart and take out instead of doing heart transplant they will go and cook the heart huh? you know they are going to cook me up and i'll be dead huh? what will happen to me he started crying so he prayed to the super soul in the heart huh? and the lord guided him with some idea what was the idea he said oh you wanted my kaleja that i always hang it in the tree he said and this foolish crocodile said really ha huh? you hang your heart in the tree okay then i'll take you to the tree and then you bring it with you so when he was taken back when he jumped to the bank of the river he said you get lost you crocodile ha huh? you fool enough of my friendship with you i made a big mistake so we say na birds are the same feather yeah, which means you know monkey should make friendship with monkeys parrots fly with parrots dogs make friends with dogs so devotees should make friendship with devotees devotees correct now so monkey understood that and then he happily went back to the tree and he understood my parents are protecting me i am safe so you also have to be very careful in dealing with uh, non devotees yeah next as you mentioned in the last saturday class to progress faster in spiritual life it's essential to get and the program progress faster in spiritual life it's essential to let go all of material attachments but how to deal with family responsibilities because of that sometimes i am not able to attend weekend uh, classes or yatras or camps so you can hear the recordings in case you miss the weekend classes later on also the big days you can catch up with hearing the recordings which are you missed uh, sometimes family responsibilities may come in the weekend you can do that hmm? if you tell the parents no i am going to attend the lecture then they will become unhappy they will say that you are all the time hearing you are not doing the home no household, household duties when i when i was in my native place i used to help my mother cut sabji also 
watch the pods. If you offer some help to mother, she's very happy. Uh, similarly, sometimes go with the father sometimes. Then in such cases, you can hear the uh, audio recording, video recording after the weekend is over. You can do like that. You have to learn the art of balancing both. Huh? Balancing the family needs. And uh, right now, you all are unmarried boys. If you are married, then morning for Krishna, daytime for profession, evening for family. Huh? You have to divide the day like that. Right now, you are morning for Krishna, the uh, daytime for the profession, evening for preaching. Correct? Huh? You have time. So, uh, after marriage, then more responsibilities come. Now itself, you should learn the art of balancing. Otherwise, how will you balance after the wife and children come? That will be even more. Right now, next. Over? All are answered now. Shri Prabhupada ki. More? One question. Okay, please. one question has come. Yeah. How can we make father and mother into devotees? Into devotees. So, um, Actually, they have to be connected to somebody in their age group. Huh? Like, for example, say your mother meets other ladies who speak the same language. Huh? If you speak Telugu, another mother also should be speaking Telugu. If your mother is like 45 or 50, then you should introduce her to another mother who is also in that range, 40 to 50 like that. Then she feels friendliness. And if possible, if they are also from a similar background, for example, if you come from a Brahmana family and then introduce her to Mataji, she's also from a Brahmani family, they connect very easily. Or somebody is a Vaishya family, you connect them to Vaishya family, like Agarwal or Goel or Bansal and all. You connect them to Agarwal, Goel, Bansal family, devotees. They quickly connect because the culture is same, same culture. So try to match the culture, match the language, uh, and uh, identify. If you ask Krishna Prasad Prabhu, he will put you in touch with Murli Gopinath Prabhu, correct? No? From them we can find out. And uh, th- and then when they see that their sons and daughters are practicing, uh, then they can very easily connect. Everybody needs a network. <laughs> like all of you fellows, you got network of boys who are of similar age group, correct? No? So you are practicing very easily. And they are very comfortably. Same way they also need. Same with your father also. If your father is in a certain profession, Try to connect somebody in a similar profession or similar age group, uh, language and all those things. It may take a little while to spot who can do that uh, connecting thing. So that's one of the ways. Another thing is, you in your locality, if you are all uh, having parents in Hyderabad only, you know, Hyderabad or any place or any other place, so you can try to find out the local program there, how nice program is going on. Is it a very good association? First, you should find out. Don't directly connect. Make sure it's a good program. That's a good devotee. And then take the mother. Mother is the one who becomes devotee more easily, generally. Father is super busy with the job and everything. So take the mother to the program. Connect her to some lady. And then when she starts chanting and everything, she will inspire the husband also. And then he will also come. In this way, gradually we can bring them. And if we preach to them directly, very few mothers may take it. Uh, many, many mother may take it, but father generally doesn't re- respect you so much. Uh, for Especially when you are a student. Mm-hmm. If you are doing job and you are also doing this, he may listen to you. There is a possibility. Like my father, you know, I can't preach to him, but when Gaurang Prabhu came, my father sat with him for a couple of hours and heard many things from him. Because uh, father uh, many times will have ego problem. They will think that this fellow, I have seen him as a small kid. Eh? He will come and tell me and I have to listen to him, you know, they feel like. But if you tell any other devotee to speak, then they may hear attentively. They have a lot of respect for other boys. If you take one very good devotee from here to your home, and then if they tell nice things to your father, then they may listen, possible. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have I have a question that uh, becoming a blessing, a mem- Becoming millionaire, a blessing of elders or fate? Because when I tell my success to my parents, they become happy. Direct me to the elders, saying that because of their blessings, I got it. So uh, is it is it really, uh, because of blessing or it is my fate? Sometimes it can be a combination of both also. Correct, no? So you have something in your fate and the elder elderly people also blessed you. And we should always think it is blessing of superiors that we what we have is what we... Actually, in India, families are generally good. 
you know, grandparents, parents, that generation at all was very high class, very value based life they have led, many of them. Mm. And also they have uh, worked for preserving the sanskaras in the family, due to which we were also saved. Otherwise, if they were degraded, then the uh, subsequent uh, generations also degrade. So, we should never think that, you know, in my fate it is written, so I have done punya because of which I am such a great soul. That kind of thought process is not very good. We can, uh, actually, there are multiple factors. There is ultimately large blessings, yeah, many elders, there are blessings, and our good association of friends who gave us good habits, uh, many other things. Our endeavor also is counted, but that should not be considered as uh, only factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A humble devotee always thinks it's a vipta dharma achyuta ashraya, huh? taking shelter of Vaishnavas and uh, Tad Krishna and dharma. Huh? So that is our real protect, protecting agents. Yeah. Shri Prabhupada ki, Karbhakta Vrinda ki. So this center has how many residents here? Here we have seven devotees. Seven devotees here. In, and how many are living 